Hello and welcome back to the Excel Tip videos. Today in this tutorial, you are going to learn how to create a drop down list using data validation in Microsoft Excel. Data validation feature improves the efficiency of data entry in Excel and reduces mistakes and typing errors. You can have restricted entries as per the validation criteria or even can create custom rules for what can be entered in the cell. In case of any invalid entry, it shows a message and prevents user to enter the data based on the specified condition. Let's understand how you can use this feature with the help of examples. So here we have a list of products in column A and we want to display all the products in the drop down list in cell D9. In order to create drop down list in Excel, we will use data validation feature. We can either have a list of data anywhere in the workbook or can supply directly to the validation criteria. But in case of large amount of data, we recommend to have a list in the Excel workbook to avoid any error. Also, the source range must be preceded by an equal to sign. And now we go to cell D9 where we will have a drop down list of these products. Then we go to data tab. Under data tools category, we click on data validation. We can also use the keyword shortcut or DL to get the data validation window. The data validation window appears and as we have to create list, so we select list from the allow validation criteria. We can type the list of products directly here in the source separating them by commas or can take the cell reference to the location in the workbook. Let's go to source and then we select A9 to A15. Now before we click on OK, if you have noticed that by default, the ignore blank and in cell drop down checkboxes are selected. The first checkbox ignore blank is used to allow or ignore blanks as valid input in cell if checked. If it is unchecked, Excel will not allow blanks as a valid input and an error message will pop up. And the second checked option is in cell drop down, which is used to display an arrow when you click on the cell. So if you uncheck this option, the drop down arrow will disappear. To give idea to user what kind of entries are allowed in the cell, we go to input message and there we write in the title, select product name. And in the message body, we say select the product sorry, from the list. Then in case of any invalid or wrong input, we want a message to pop up. So we go to error alert tab and by default, the error style is selected as stop. So in title, we write invalid product name and then in the error message we write, please select the Sorry, product name from the list. And now we click on OK. The moment we click on OK, we can see input message box in yellow caption with drop down arrow. So we click on drop down menu and we can see all the products which we selected from the range are appearing in the drop down list. So we can select any of these instead of typing or remembering them. In case you want to clear the text in the cell which has data validation, you can go to the cell and press delete command. The content will be removed from the cell but will be there in the drop down list. And as we left the ignore blank option check, when we try to enter blank input, it accepts and returns without any problem. But in case if we change and uncheck this option and then we try to enter blank as input it would return an error which we had set for invalid entries. So, okay, we do control C now. Also, when you're not in the cell where we have applied the data validation, the drop down arrow will disappear. Drop down arrow only appears if you select the cell. In case you want to remove the data validation completely from the cell or range, simply go to the data validation window after selecting that cell. And there you see this option clear all. Just click on it and then click on OK. The moment you click on OK, the data validation will be removed from the cell. Well, there is another way of creating the normal drop down list. In that case, you first need to go to the range where you have the list ready for the drop down. So 
we have the same list here in range A9 to A15. So we select the range and now either we can go to the name box to give the name to this range or we can use define name feature. So we go to formula and then under define name categories, we click on define name and then we write here product name without any space and we have already selected the range. So we click on OK. And now we go back to cell D9 and once again, we go to data validation window and we select list for the validation criteria. And this time, instead of selecting range, we will have the defined name in this source box. So if you remember the name which you have given to the list, you can type it here preceded by an equal to sign or you can press F3. The moment we press F3 key, paste name window appear and you can locate all the named ranges available in the current workbook and as we name the range as product name we click on it and then we click on ok you can see that the product name has been inserted in the source name but starting with equal to sign ok we click on ok and we get the drop down list in this cell we can select any product from the list now instead of typing it manually so this is how you can create drop down menu using data validation in Excel. That's all for now. In the next video of this series, we will explain how to create the dynamic data validation list with four different methods in Excel. We hope you found this lesson informative. Stay tuned and keep learning with us. Thank you and have a nice day.